Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Here's your daily stimulus check, second stimulus check, and your st stimulus executive action memorandum, and your stimulus package update for Tuesday, August 18th, 2020. Yes, boy, this year is going so fast. Find out, or slow, <laughs> find out which major company saw their profits soar thanks to stimulus checks, why both President Trump and Mitch McConnell are on board with another $1,200 stimulus check, direct payment, hopefully directly to your account digitally, and how they could unfortunately be delayed. And is a bill coming this week? Remember we promised by Friday, it's Tuesday, after this. For the best news and information on how to master your money, dominate your money, or just have money, where'd money go? It was here and now it's gone. Business, life, and stay tuned to this channel. Hit the like button. It helps so much with the algorithm. It's, you are giving me so much love when you do that, when you press the like button. It just, it's just wonderful. Also, hit the subscribe, the bell notification, and if you put a comment, You'll be entered to win $700 when I hit 70,000 subscribers. Hopefully, it'll be in a couple days. And I'll be giving away $700 to a random person in the comments. And as a cheat, put in the last like 10 videos and you'll like have an extra shot at being in there. Also, grab your two free Weeble stocks down below. You can open up an account, fund it with as little as $100, and you get two free stocks, one valued up to $1,400. It costs you nothing to, to, to get free stocks. But first, while many companies have been struggling to get by, yes, hurt, it's like there's some sort of conspiracy out there, Walmart reported a very positive second quarter thanks to its large part to the $1,200 stimulus check. Yeah, well, they had to spend it, right? We had to spend it on something. Walmart CEO Doug McMillan stated, and I quote, stimulus was definitely impact to the consumer in the second quarter. Well, yeah, wow. He's the CEO. Takes a really smart guy to figure that one out, right? With people in need of supplies, you know, the basics, toilet paper and all everything else, and they got to stay indoors at the onset of this thing out there, this crazy thing out there. Millions of Americans use their stimulus check to buy food. Go figure. PPP. PPE and more at Walmart because what else was open? In fact, the megastore saw a 97% increase in e-commerce sales during the second quarter. Yes, they finally figured out how to sell stuff online. Amazon's like, oh man, Walmart's selling stuff online and Target. You know, when I went down to the, to the um, UPS, I saw pallets of like Target next to Amazon. I went, hmm, wow. Target, Walmart, they're like pallets of each one, and it's they're stepping up their game. McMillan expects to see a boost in sales if another stimulus check is dispersed, explaining, and quote, this is from him, we're watching what's going on in Washington and how we're going to progress with the new stimulus package. Well, yes, what it means is, Yes, thank you very much. Give us another $1,200 so we can have a bunch more sales. Hoping that another stimulus package gets passed soon with a second $1,200 check, McMillan stated, I think certainly it would be helpful for consumers. Duh, yeah. You think? I don't know. I, yeah. Like, you gotta eat, you need toilet paper, paper towels. Maybe not as much. Some people probably have more than they need. That probably you can get that on you know offer up or on let go or probably on facebook marketplace somebody's got like you know five pallets of toilet paper for sale you're wondering man why does he need so much toilet paper meanwhile senator majority leader mitch mcconnell made some encouraging comments about another round of stimulus checks yesterday and yes we scoured through like 20 i don't know maybe 50 articles to get you this stuff so that you don't have to go through the brain damage every day to figure this out. Speaking in his home state of Kentucky. Yeah, he's on vacay, people. That's why he's in his home state. Mc, uh, McConnell was asked 
if a second stimulus check was still on the table in the upcoming phase four disaster relief bill, McConnell stated, I put together a bill of about a trillion dollars, because he's cheap, which is, as you can see, has so far not gotten much traction on the other side. But in that was an additional $1,200. Yes, it was there. It's also in the HEROES Act. You know, we've got Gucci Nancy, right? She's got that $3 trillion package sitting there, and he's wondering, Nancy, I offered, you know, 100000 for your $300,000 home. I don't understand why you won't close on this. Just sell me your house for a hundred grand. She's like, no, it's worth three hundred. We're worth three hundred. We're worth three three trillion, right? I think you're worth three trillion. In fact, I think you're worth more than that. Just saying. I think as Americans paying a trillion dollars a year in taxes, that when we need it badly, like now, like the last time we had something like this was a hundred years ago, right? So come on, give a little. You've collected money for a hundred years without having a problem. At a trillion dollars a year collecting from us while we're out working for you, you can't just break off a little. Come on. He continued, for example, people in the hospitality field that work in hotels and restaurants have really been hammered and they were given direct cash payments and cares I think they need another one and that I was in it was in the proposal I put forward and assume if we were reach if they reach an agreement that it will be there again that was a long quote by him he doesn't usually say that much especially since I call him MIA Mitch because he's never around while it's extremely frustrating waiting around for another stimulus package at least we're getting some reassurance that once it passes We'll likely see another $1,200 stimulus check coming down the pipeline. Everybody's saying they're going to do it. So why don't they just do it? Like press the button on the $1,200. Give me a break. Come on already. Do it in sections, right? Finally, President Trump offered his thoughts yesterday on the second helping of $1,200 stimulus check. You know, by the time we get this, we'll feel like we worked so hard for it. It'll feel like 50 bucks, right? When asked about spending more direct payments to struggling Americans, Trump stated, we want money to go to the people that need it. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, he just autographs the bill anyway. So he's hoping he could do, do this um, around the whole uh, postal service conspiracy. You know, they're stealing mailboxes. <laughs> that was so funny. I watched, I went through that whole thing. I wanted to talk to you about the missing mailboxes that are disappearing. Yeah they're not they relocate them uh your letter still gets there the mail still gets there at any rate but with all of that confusion surrounding the u.s the united states post office some financial analysts are worried that another round of stimulus checks could be delayed to those that receive their payments through the mail so go to the portal it closes down i keep saying it here like September 30th, just get your stuff in there. With roughly 20% of the recipients getting their, their paper stimulus check by mail, Chris Cox, senior tax uh, policy analyst at the Center of Budget and Policy Priorities stated, stimulus checks are one more important item that could be affected by any sort of mail delay. So get it in there. 20% of us. I guess 80% of us are okay. With an estimated 35 million Americans receiving their direct payments through the mail, Cox explained, this is a significant group of people that might be affected. You actually mail, the mail needs the revenue, right? The postage stamp that they're getting to get all those out, I guess it's kind of a good thing for the post office. That's why we need our politicians to return to Washington. We need another stimulus check. Yes, they're on vacation. Yeah in case you didn't know. More stimulus checks and the comfort from, uh, that comes with knowing that you know we're going to have some money that we can actually go buy stuff with when you can't go to work. I'm confused completely. But this is, uh, I hope you found that this information, they're, they've cleaned it up. It's like clear as mud right now. That was your stimulus check and second stimulus check and your executive action memo order and stimulus package for Tuesday, August 18, 2020. Yeah, 
I wish I had better news for you. Thank you so much for watching and making it this long in the video. Please leave a comment with the answer to this question. Do you believe in ghosts, spirits, or the supernatural? I'd love to know. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. I love you. I'm just curious. Do you know one of, I used to hike every day for years with a guy that has the only parapsychology degree official with Berkeley. Yes, UC Berkeley. Unbelievable. His name's Jeff. You can look at all my pictures back there. We used to hike every single day. He's written six books on the subject about the supernatural. So uh, I'll keep you in suspense about how I feel about it. But I spent every day with a validated PhD, the only one in the country, parapsychology degree from Jeff. And I'll tell you who Jeff is in a later video. But what an interesting guy. Currently has a YouTube channel too. Anyway, take care. Love you. I'm Andrew Cartwright.